it's not how you start though it's how you finish right and i would and i would say even you know let's talk a little bit about um more experienced adjusters you know i think a lot of people will get kind of pigeonholed themselves i did it in the, in the first half of my career um only as a cat property adjuster um i only was i was doing you know in my heyday, I was doing like sixty percent residential and forty percent commercial. Um, if I had to do I think it I'm over about again, to, about the same. Yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably try to push into something. You know, the, the larger losses. You know, the, the bigger properties. You know, being more like sixty forty commercial or you know eighty twenty. You know, eighty percent of that's commercial. Um, one of the, the the claims that I don't like to do um, because. There's always you always have to get all the, the paperwork and the the covenants and the, the agreements and all that stuff for condo. But claims. condos, yeah. But a person because nobody likes to do those. A person who specializes, you know, they've got a lot of experience doing residential property, fire, you know, water, wind, hail, whatever. You know, they've got some experience doing commercial. You know, they've they've done. You ever, you're gonna do condo claims no matter what. Even if you're brand new, on you get a right. sign claims on a big hurricane. They're giving you everything that they have. If you, right, if right. a person can specialize, I think, in being like the condo guy or the condo lady, um, yeah, and you're like the expert at them, and you you knock them out really fast. They're correct, right? Because it's hard, it's easy right. to mess up a condo claim. Um, yeah, then you're gonna that's a good yourself. value add. Yeah, so then you become, you know, even more valuable to your, you know, to the carriers and to your I firms. And again, that's more marketing. Well, we've got Jeremy. He's he's our condo guy. You know, you. you and you're going to be in Florida and there's a bazillion condos. Um, you need to yeah. get on their experience. I mean, because that's how, what, how the, the, the firms are talking to the carriers when they, you know, when they're renewing their contracts or when they're doing yeah. whatever, we've got Jeremy, we've got Matt, we've got this guy, we've got that yeah. guy. Um, that's a really good point. I've never actually thought of that on the marketing side to market yourself as the condo guy or the condo gal. That's huge. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if you're, you know, like Florida, for instance, is easy because uh, they have a universal. But man, if uh, any other state where you have to actually review those bylaws, I mean, that's I hate it. I absolutely I, I hate dealing with it. I couldn't ever see myself <laughs> using that tagline. I don't want you to give me all those condo claims. I want to work hard so that I can put not the condo guy at the top of my resume. Right. But if you're looking for but but if you're at a point where you're looking for an edge where you need that edge because maybe you don't have as much experience, maybe you got one or two, like one deployment in, maybe two. Dude, if you learn that and put that on there, people are going to say, I don't think, I'm going to venture to say that there's not a single person with a tagline on their resume saying that, that they're specialized in condo claims. Nobody. No. They don't want to do that. Nobody wants to do that. But that's how you win. You know, that's how you get the, that's how you get on that first call list. Even if you don't have great experience, like, hey, this this person's only got one or two companies, but they're willing to do condo claims. We'll make our, you know, our, our you know, other first callers, you know, our core adjusters. We we can maybe go easy on them on the condo claims and put them in a position to succeed while we throw most of the condo claims to the condo person. And yeah. we'll throw them some other stuff, too, you know, but. Yeah. That's huge. That's Same that's thing. a great point. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing for like large loss contents, you know? Um, oh my God. Ugh. But yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, I think, uh, <laughs> you know, the, the kind of the overarching point of this, that whole thing is that it's, this is the insurance industry is a big industry. There's all, there's so many right. different things that a person could do in it. Not just being an IA doing hell claims or hurricane claims. You know, you start out that way, but you can, you know, as, as you build, you get your levels, one, two, three certifications for ex Xactimate. Um, you're getting these sort of carrier certifications. You pick up your your AIC. You pick up your CPCU, right? You, so you start to mm -hmm. get these more advanced, um, in, like, insurance industry credentials, and it puts you into a position where now you're, you know, the storm manager for a major catastrophe, or now you're the right. operations manager at an IA, at a big IA firm, right? And you're making right. a lot more money. Well, the operations manager might argue with me on this, but you have potential to yeah. at least, you know. Depending. I, mean, I think, I think if cat property is probably the highest paying, one of the highest paying gigs in the whole thing. Um, and you can stay right. there, but you know, you get tired of being out in the field, man. I mean, 
I know you you feel it. I mean, it's like you, there's only so many. It's like ground yeah. day every single morning, man. You get up, all right, climbing roofs again. Time to make the donuts. If you want more content about the business and lifestyle of successful claims adjusters, check out these videos and visit us at adjustertv.com.